Hello everyone, welcome to this session on MyCAD 2019-20 study plan. In this particular session, we are going to talk about your month-wise strategy to be able to score high in MyCAD exam. Before we uh, move to the study plan, I would request all of you to hit on the bell icon on the top right hand side of your screen so that you can subscribe to the Career Nut channel and stay tuned with all the MBA related uh, videos which we are going to post on a daily basis on the YouTube channel. You should not be missing out at even a single video which we are going to post. Uh, now uh, before jumping to the detailed uh, study plan, let me have a quick overview of the examination. Uh, the part one of the exam consists of descriptive writing section where you will get four questions to be completed in 35 minutes. Out of the four questions, one question is going to be story writing and three are going to be argument writing. Then you have the aptitude uh, test in which there will be four sections, divergent, convergent thinking, general awareness, verbal ability and con section. Con is going to con verbal, general awareness, they are going to have 25 questions each and divergent, convergent thinking is going to have 30 questions. This part needs to be completed in 105 minutes. Then you have part 3 of the examination which is a psychometric test for which the time limit is 35 minutes. Sorry, uh, the time limit is 25 minutes and you need to uh, attempt uh, all the questions in the psychometric test. Number of questions in psychometric they keep on varying from year to year. And uh, last year there were 27 questions on an average 25 to 32 questions come in the psychometric part of the paper. Now. Uh, as far as the selection criteria goes, you should be aware that for the GEPI shortlist, uh, a composite score is calculated by MICAD. This composite score has 50% weightage to your MICAD aptitude section score and 50% weightage to your CAD, ZAD or GMAT score. So even if say you end up scoring low in CAD or ZAD, but you have a high MICAD score, so it will balance out things for you. Now the beauty here which you need to remember is that even at 70 percentile, even at 72 percentile in CAD or ZAD, you can get the call. You can get the call. I have seen students last year who have got the call from MICA even at 72 percentile and, and an average MICA score and students who did not get the call even at 99 percentile in CAD plus a very very high score in MICA aptitude bar. Then what was the difference? The difference was descriptive writing performance. If you are good here, you can get the call even at 70 to 75 percentile in CAD or ZAT or say 540 score in GMAT. But you need to ensure that you do not do not miss out at the sectional cutoffs. Sectional cutoffs are very critical and you need to ensure that you are clearing all the sectional cutoffs as well as are staying up ahead of the overall cutoff. So even if you have an average MyCAD score and a low CAD or ZAD score but you are pretty good with descriptive writing, you should be able to get the call from MyCA. Now uh, before, uh, no one, uh, before we move to the study plan, let's have one more uh, quick overview and this time it's of a GK breakup of the section. Uh, now uh, in the GK section, questions can broadly be divided into four categories based on the last year's analysis where from geography you got two to three questions. It was a surprise uh, entering the examination. Then you have uh, marketing and advertising related current affairs and static GK from which you can expect around five questions. Then the typical current affairs uh, would be around uh, 12 to 13 in number. And then you have questions from business appointments, awards and authors from where you can expect around four to five questions. So that is going to be the overall breakup of the GK section of the MyCAD examination. Now remember that you don't need to go anywhere else, you don't need to hop to multiple websites, you don't need to hop uh, through books for the GK section. Whatever ebooks, with the GK ebooks and the tests which we are providing you, they are going to suffice. Last year we have had 85% questions in the GK sections coming directly from the ebooks and the tests we have provided. So ensure that you are studying the entire material which we are providing you very diligently and do not do not waste your time in reading tens of books for GK. Now what should be the September uh, focus areas? In September when it comes to GK, first of all you should be completing current affairs of March, April, May, June, July and August. So these are the current affairs which you should be completing in the month of September. These fact sheets are nothing but the current affairs ebooks. So you, should, you need to complete March to August current affairs in the month of September. In addition to the, the small ebook on important dates and days, the ebook on union budget and obviously you will be practicing all this with monthly GK tests. 
from in the verbal section come uh, you know start going through vocabulary ebook start going through the ADMC book and uh, first do para jumbles and once you are done with para jumbles you move to reading comprehensions remember that reading comprehension they uh, are pretty easy in my cat as compared to cat or zat and here you can attempt almost 100% rc questions in my cat aptitude with almost 90% accuracy so so it's 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 something you know which is going to help you to increase your score when it comes to quant uh, i would suggest you that you know start off with numbers only when quant is your strong area if quant is your weak area you can leave numbers for now and not be worried about uh, the quant cutoff because you are leaving numbers you don't need to worry about numbers focus on these topics if you can do arithmetic well and if you can do linear, linear and quadratic equations well you are all set to clear the quant cutoff so just to clear the quant cutoff these topics are going to suffice don't waste your time on numbers it's a very complicated topic unless you have already completed it uh, do not start it now if you are a person who is going to start your preparation at this juncture then do not touch numbers focus on arithmetic and linear and quadratic equations and you will be all set to clear the con cutoff now coming to the fact that what should be your mock frequency in the month of september take two full length mock tests uh, take two psychometric tests and five essay creative writing tests in the month of september and you would be all good coming to the month of october in gk you should be uh, focusing on uh, topics like books and authors from which definitely at least one question will come then business and economy at least two questions will come advertising and ma uh, marketing related gk uh, four to five questions will come then january and february fact sheets is what you need to do and then you need to revise whatever you have studied so far uh, as far as the verbal part goes continue with your vocabulary part continue with practicing reading comprehension and add sentence correction and prepositions as a new uh, addition uh, in the verbal section which you need to complete in the month of October. In Kant, uh, you, know, you will focus on completing the remaining chapters of algebra after linear and quadratic the chapters which are left from algebra are functions and graphs and inequalities. Expect to do three questions from functions and graphs and inequalities in the examination. In the geometry part only study circles, no need to study anything else, that is all. Then uh, for the other sections you know you need to uh, do word association and statement assumption conclusion as a very very important part you will be getting 15 questions in the convergent divergent thinking section 15 questions out of 30 are going to be from this so you need to be very good with word association then statement assumption and conclusion one thing which you need to remember is there is no book from where you will get good questions of word association in fact there is no book which provides you questions of uh, word association, association forget good questions so you need to ensure that you are practicing mocks very well for word, uh, word association plus in your mycat coaching course we are going to provide you two topic wise tests on word association which will take care of your preparation now one thing in in di when you are uh, preparing line graph tables and bar graphs do not go for very complicated questions do not go for cat level questions because the di part in the mycat examination is going to be very easy so you, you need to just practice level of difficulty one question from uh, Arun Sharma or Nitish uh, book whichever you are using for your DI preparation. When it comes to mock frequency you should be taking 3 full length mock tests, 3 psychometric tests and 10 SN creative writing tests in the month of October. Moving to November, first uh, the major focus here should be on revision, revision and revision. So uh, in GK and verbal you will be doing everything uh, which you require in terms of revision there is nothing new which you need to study only for the other sections you need to complete data sufficiency you need to do basic mensuration you need to do visual reasoning uh, for the other two sections because from data sufficiency you will definitely get a question from visual reasoning you will get almost 10 questions so you need to study these two topics well in the month of November when it comes to mock frequency, your mock frequency should be 5, 5 and 15 for full net mock tests, psychometric and descent creative writing tests. But suppose you are appearing for CAT in the month of November, you can make this 2, you can make uh, this also 2 and then you can make this around 10. So if you are appearing for CAT in November, uh, go for 2 full net mock tests, 2 psychometric tests and 10 SN creative writing tests. But suppose if you are someone who is applying through ZAD or GMAT, then go for 5, 5 and 15. That should be your breakup of mocks in the month of November. Then coming to December, the only focus should be on revision, revision and revision and taking more mock tests for a very, very effective and efficient practice and ensuring that there are no loopholes when you go 
for the exam on the examination day. So two full length mock tests, two psychometric tests and five essay creative writing tests is what you need to take in the month of December. I have kept it slightly light because you will be appearing for multiple other MBA entrance exams in the month of December. So this month cannot uh, you know, provide you a lot beyond whatever I have just now mentioned. With this, we come to the end of this session. I'm very pleased to share with you that we were the first ones to start off with a MyCat dedicated course. When we started off, Dr. Atish was the director of MyCat Ahmedabad and we got even appreciation from him uh, for launching such a course. And we are pretty happy that we have been adding to the smiles of MyCat aspirants since we have started this course. Today, we proudly say that 33% of the current MyCats they prepared with us. And all the credit for this goes to the personalized feedback sent over email for psychometric essay and creative writing. Then your GPI preparation, which, which is also the part of your MyCAD coaching course. And then the highly customized MyCAD GK material with special focus on advertising and marketing content is what helps our students to do well in MyCAD examination. And yes, if you are watching this video and if you are not already enrolled and you want to enroll for the MyCAD coaching course, you can use the code YTMC to get 500 rupees off on the course while enrolling. Thank you everyone. We wish you all the best for the MyCAD examination. Do ask your queries in the comment section. Thank you everyone. And once again, all the very best for MyCAD to be held in the month of December.